It's hard to imagine buying a piece of property that you find out decades later requires you to permit a neighbor to travel across. It's perhaps even harder to envision buying a landlocked piece of land. The 2003 Mississippi case of Fike v. Shelton helps us understand the dynamic between these two potential property law conundrums. James Shelton bought a 40-acre parcel of land in Mississippi that was landlocked. One of Shelton's neighbors verbally granted him permission to walk across the neighboring property. Another neighboring family granted him a revocable license to use their parcel to access a public road. John Fike was another one of Shelton's neighbors. Several decades earlier, Fike's property and part of Shelton's property were both part of a commonly owned parcel. Adjoining Fike's property was a public road. The road existed even before the commonly owned parcel was divided in 1932. After researching the county's land records, Shelton learned that his predecessors accessed this road through what had since become Fike's property. As a result, Shelton sought a decree in trial court for an easement by necessity on Fike's land. The court granted his request, and Fike appealed to the state appellate court, contending that Shelton had alternative means of ingress and egress.